It's like, do you, do you have any like uh, any thing that any specific lesson that you learned just being out there? Um, to be honest, with me, um, if you're an independent artist, don't be discouraged mm -hmm. uh, about the people that are getting recognition. They don't count no more. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna be an independent artist, those those type of artists and those numbers that are going on doesn't doesn't matter. Your your, your main goal is to gain people that believe in your music like you do. Right. You know what I'm saying? And 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 keep moving forward on that. D don't worry about signing deals. Mm. Worry about signing publishing deals. Facts. And, um, and make sure you know what the fuck you're getting please, yourself into. Please do. Please do because paperwork is 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 is, is an MF. -er. Right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's your boy Moogie getting money. That's more than likely. Today we got a couple real ones in the building. I got my man Dre Artist in here. Numbers. 90 from PS. You gotta make sure you say the PS. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I, I hit all the yes. joints, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright, because yeah. we in here smoking that good. We on that pressure. You know what I mean? You got your boy working today. But, man, I'm just gonna get right into it. Dre the Artist. Bro, I'll be seeing you running around all over this fucking. Tri-State area hitting every shows, <laughs> clowning on Instagram, killing <laughs> all viral videos. You know what I'm saying? Doing your thing, bro. How you? How? How you doing, man? I'm, I'm, I'm doing alright, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm glad, you know. You know you, you, I'm getting recognized for, for the stuff that I'm doing, man. I'm working hard, man. I'm trying to. Nah, you to, working to, hard, bro. To, Make sure that my voice is getting out there, my you know what I'm saying, my image is getting out there and everything like I've that. I've been to at least probably five or six events this summer and your ass was at every one of them performing. You out here, you outside, bro. <laughs> outside, outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got you. We got you. You're out here killing them, bro. What even since this is your first time on your show, the tradition is just to get into your origins, bro. What 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 got you into this hip hop thing, man? Um what I have I'm originally from Mahali, New Jersey. Okay. Um, when I moved to Muller Bros in 1990, and um, I had met like a couple people from around my way. Uh -huh. It's like, like seven brothers, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you know what I'm saying? Like from my boy LQ all the way down to my boy 12 Gauge. Uh -huh. um, they they were already rapping. Um, uh -huh. They were really into hip hop. I was into pop music a lot. Uh -huh. uh, I didn't really get into hip hop until like 90, 91. Oh, so pop music, I mean, Joe. What, Madonna, Madonna, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Michael Jackson, all that shit. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, but I had shoes with the, with, the, with the socks. The white socks. Damn, the joint, the scrunched up joints. Yeah, yeah. See, oh. I know back shit, shit. <laughs> you can moonwalk back in the day, nigga. Yeah, you know you was saying? the man around town, nigga. Was... <laughs> yeah, Mike, Michael couldn't do no wrong back in the day. Yeah, you know hell know no. Saying? Back when he was light skinned. <laughs> <laughs> light skinned Michael was a bad yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, he was a problem. Definitely a problem. But basically, you know, they, they, they formed a group and everything like that. It took a while for me to, to like, really get a part of okay. rapping with them. Okay. You know but mm -hmm. basically, that's how like I came up. You know, what I'm saying we have a, we had a group there. It's called uh, DGC, the Grand Clay. Okay. Like, a lot of us still got the tattoo bones and stuff like that. It's like Dang. nine of us that got these tattoos. So it's like you know what I mean. Like, that's dope, bro. You know, to this day, we still you know we still do our thing. You know, what I'm saying we still do our music and everything like that. You know what I mean? Life happens. We all you know what I mean. Some of us went our separate ways, but okay. it's still the Grand Clay at the end of the day. Okay. So you outside right now, you run a pro, you dropping singles everywhere, right. multiple singles, yes, consistently, yes, dope shit. Right. I wanted to ask you like some of your influences, like bro, I be hearing a lot of you. Did you did you come up listening to, like MOP and shit? Um, to be honest, kind of yeah, kind of no. Um, yeah. I grew up around. You'd be surprised. I. I, I I'm more influenced about the music that came from my area. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of people that had high energy. You know what I'm right, saying? That, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I could relate to in their yeah. music style and stuff like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, Cause you definitely of, make that high energy music. I, I love that kind of boom bap though. Yeah, you know like, yeah. That, 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 that high energy kind of boom bap where it's just like, you know, you, you're really trying to get the crowd amped, you know what I'm saying? Almost like that, even even a Busta Rhyme kind of a appeal, you know what I'm no, saying? Right, because right. I, I just love that performance kind of a, you know what I'm saying, high energy kind of a situation too. You know what All I mean? Right. That's 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 my bad. That's that's the kind of music I like doing too. You know what All I mean? right. So you can say some of your influences coming up, they were one of like MOP is one of your influences. Um, uh, MOP, Buster, um, yeah. As far as energy, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you definitely bring that energy to the stage and definitely. shit. And uh, 
I'm, I've been listening to a couple of your singles. Your fucking, uh, what was the John, uh, the, the last shit you just released? Krill? Yeah, Krill. Krill, that shit is hard, bro. Like that, yeah, you yeah. got, uh, featuring Grand Pooba. Yo, it's crazy, because at first I thought it was, like, Grand Pooba from, like, the 90s. It's oh, a yeah. nigga, <laughs> it's a nigga that used to rap, like, back in, like, the right, 90s. Right, 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 I was right, like, right. damn, we got one right. of those, that nigga. Like, damn, where the fuck you dig him up? But nah, that joint hard, bro. Right, right. That shit is that shit hard, bro. That shit is crazy. Hey, thank you, man. And it, it's funny because my, my, my boy just came home. You okay. know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy, Grand Pooba. Okay. And, and, and be on the lookout for him because he has a lot more music coming. And he is a great artist. You can look him up now. And he has great music out now. And he has tons of records, man. Right. You do. So that's like, as soon as I find out, I had to, I had to get him on the record. I said, oh, you home? All right, I'm on my way to the studio. You know what I'm saying? So I got them up, boom. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know Damn, saying? bro. That's what's up, bro, because you got to get, when somebody come home, you got to get them right into something yeah. before they get into something. Yeah, you know like, what I mean? Nice. Is, uh, I, yeah. I, soon, as soon as he came home, I said, look, this is the lane. You know what I'm saying? This is what you need. And I'm glad he was like, yo, I already got this, this, and this. I was like, all right, cool. Boom. All right. Let's move forward. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and let's stay out of these situations. You, feel right. because, you know what I mean? Like, being an independent artist, yes, it's tough. 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 And yes, it's, 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 very, it's very challenging financially. But... You, the, the payout is going to be crazy. Y'all got to think about what, y- what y'all going to get afterwards. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is something that everybody goes broke for. Right. You know Definitely, bro. That's what, <laughs> Actually, that's one of the questions I want to ask you. I was want to ask you, like, in this game, this fucked up game right now, because the game is fucked up. You got to find the, yeah, you got to find the cheat codes and shit. And everybody has their little different ways of bro, getting around the shit. system and shit. Right. Um... Do you, how do you stay motivated? Like, do you still feel it's worth it? Like, it's always worth it. It's always worth it. Like, see, my name is Dre Artist, not Dre Rapper. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I mean by that is, you know what I mean? I do this for the love and the money's gonna follow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not doing this. It. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'm, 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 I'm putting it, putting my money into this and doing this as a career, yes. But I'm doing this because I love it that much where I believe that I know I'm going to be able to survive off of this. Right, right. You know I mean, because I know I have something to display that the world can sit there and gravitate to and, and grasp. And I know the people that I have with me can do the exact same thing. So why not? Right. You know what I mean? I, I did it with bartering. You know what I mean? When I when people was like, oh, you can't cut. No, I'm an artist at the end of the day. This is something I love to do. Right. I put my heart into it. And right. I know I was one of the top barbers in my area. That's That's work. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's about what you really put into it. You have you have two different type of artists. You have mm. artists that'll show you art, and you have artists that'll show you themselves. Mm. This, this is a quote by G. Yamazama. Mm. That's hard. Artists mm. that show you the work, and the artists that show you themselves. Mm-hmm. That's some dope shit. Bro, speaking of your work, bro, you had that uh, project in 2022. I guess it's Animo? 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 Ain't no more. Absolutely no morals. Fucking with the Pyrex track, bro. Yeah, John, I was like, because, like, I don't just fucking ask niggas to come up here and then just be like, so you rap, you do hip hop? I actually go listen to their music and do research and shit on them and shit. Mm -hmm. So I was just, the Pyrex, John, bro, how did that shit come about? That beat hard as fuck. Oh, oh, we was uh, on my front porch, uh, me and my boy Sonny Perez, and we was just vibing. And you know he he had his he had his little bottle and everything like that boom mm-hmm. we rolled up and we just you know what I'm saying just just bobbing to this beat mm-hmm. and he was playing around with the course see the course was actually an accident that wasn't like that that pyrex whipping he was just mumbling that that'd be the best choice and I was like I'm like what are you saying and then he said a lot I'm like nah keep going with that so he came up with a couple bars and boom. I'm like, nah, 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 all right, boom, we put that in. Next thing you know, we got this banging ass chorus. And I was like, all right, fuck it, let's, let's make this a tool song. And then he started snapping. Mm. He started snapping. What I mean, that like, shit is, yeah. that shit is, that's some hard shit, bro. Yeah, that was, that's my joint right there. Yeah, man. that's like, like, I had that joint. I just had that shit. It, there's there's a whole loop. video to it. Oh, word? If you pay attention really close to the video, too, it's eating us in that video. Word. Damn. Yeah. yeah. You, I gotta see. I didn't even know it was a video to that shit. I just was just listening to the shit on Spotify. Yeah, there's a, there's right. a whole video to it. All right, that's what's up, bro. So, you've been. So, how long have you been taking like music serious? I know you've been an artist basically your whole life, but like once you really jumped out here and started investing in yourself and moving around and getting recognition, how long has it been? Since you listened to uh, since that album dropped, 2022. 
All right, so it's been a year. Yeah. So you really haven't really been through the fucking the ringer of bullshit of the game. Oh, like you don't man. have it. You don't have no, it. You said, you said take serious. I ain't saying I ain't never been through the regular bullshit. Though. Oh, you have been. Right. Oh, oh, that's right. what right. I wanted to get into. All right, so look, all right, back in the day, I'm not gonna <laughs> say what my, my old rap name used to be. Yeah. I used to, I used to mess with a company uh, back in the day. Um, I was actually out in LA. I lived um, out there in Willow Hills and everything like that. Um, okay. I met people like um, uh, Joe Exclusive, uh, D Woods from Daddy King. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, what is this? Uh, 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 young Bird, I think it's yeah, Young Bird. Uh, who else I've met? Um, uh, 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 yeah, I, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of niggas. But yeah. I was, I was, I was dealing with you know, me certain people in the industry. You know, what I'm saying Buckingham Universal all the way up. Okay. You know, what I'm saying it, it was a lot of it was a lot of BS. It was yeah. A lot of BS. You know, what I'm saying not just as far as like the people I was dealing with. Nothing was nothing that as far as that. But it was just you know learning about out there. Yeah. It's weird. Definitely. In a sense. I you know what I'm saying? Not, yeah. not, not saying people, just, you know. It's just the situation. Yeah. And predicaments. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, do, do you have any, like, uh, any thing that, any specific lesson that you learned just being out there? Um, to be honest, with me, um, if you're an independent artist, don't be discouraged mm -hmm. uh, about people that are getting recognition they don't count no more mm -hmm. if you're going to be an independent artist those those type of artists and those numbers that are going on doesn't doesn't matter your, your, your main goal is to gain people that believe in the music like you do right you know what i'm saying and and and, and keep moving forward on that don't worry about signing deals mm -hmm. worry about signing publishing deals facts and um, make sure you know what the fuck you're getting yourself please into do. Please do because paperwork is 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 is, is an MFR. Right. Because <laughs> you don't even understand what you're signing. Yeah. So you know what I mean. You, you, you gotta you gotta know what you're doing. You know, and you gotta. The thing is, um, with with the music industry, period, it is 10% um, talent, 90% business. You ain't gonna fucking lie, and, bro. And that's the sad part about it. Yeah. Um. So you you have to you have to you have to learn that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? If you right. want to deal with that kind of lane, at the end of the day, you can build your own situation. Right. You know? Because, you know, if you if you want to do that, just follow you gotta how do it. did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just got to take, take that marathon yeah, route, bro. Right? Right. Follow how Master P did it. Follow how, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people, it. it's a shame because <laughs> they prey on the thirsty, bro. They, pray, they, they prey on the desperate and the thirsty. Like, you got mad talent. But, yeah. nigga, you need this money or your ass going to jail. You need this money right now. Watch and and that's get, who they're giving the like, deal to. Because they gonna get you to sign the worst fucking contract yeah. ever. They gonna give you that upfront money. Standard 360. Yup. <laughs> it's sad, bro. Just it's, know it's who you cool. deal with. It's shit. cool, but that's the game. If you, if you, if you and I'll be telling people all the, all the time too. You feel me? Because you know, I even, I even heard it myself. Because you know, I had, I had 360 deal slide in my inbox. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like, you know, I had, you know, I mean, certain, certain people read over and they're looking at it like, if you was to sign this, boy, ooh. Yeah, they're talking about giving you this bread right now, but you don't That's know if you want to get it from then or seven years from now. They have seven. They have this, this and that's another thing. Y'all sit there and see this, 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 this money that you'll get up front, but you don't even know that unless there's a date about that money you getting. That don't mean you're getting it right now. Yes. You could be mm. waiting for a whole seven years yes. until they officially sign you, but they give you that. <laughs> so yeah, niggas was, niggas yo, was having yo, lifetime niggas, contracts. What I mean by, yo. <laughs> I think people, Birdman got yo, a little wing in the lifetime how, blimey, lifetime how, how dirty the game is, they'll sign you just to bench you. Damn. They'll sign you just to bench you, just yeah. just because they know that you're they're, you, that you're better than the streaming artists that they got right now and you're overshining. That's a dirty game, bro. But that's to be expected when a bunch of money's involved. But either way, you a multi-faceted dude anyway, so you got multiple lanes that you can go to. I see you on, on IG and stuff. But the, uh, I don't even... Could you even call them skits? Is it, I guess it's reels now, right? I, it, I, I call them board moments. You call them what? Board, board moments. Uh, board moments? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll be doing the same shit. And... Uh, yeah, you got that, and you got a podcast. I see you got uh, the Watch This podcast. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Yeah, man. So I see you doing media. Like, which way you, uh, as far as talent wise, as an artist, which way do you feel like you're leaning more towards the media or the music? If it has anything to do with art, I'm there. Okay. So period. 
you treat them both the same. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's something that I love to do. If it has something to do with like you know what I mean, entertainment, art, any kind of perspective in that right. in that kind of light, I, I want to be a part of it. So like pros all the way down to fashion. Pro, pros and cons, pros and cons wise, do you feel as though doing like media, doing a podcast, and showing your personality does that help you more as an artist? It can, and it can actually damage you. Yeah. If if you know, because at the end of the day, you're you're actually putting yourself out there more under a microscope, scope in a sense. Because say you're trying to do this, and one thing's pop, it's okay. going to overshadow one. Right. Day. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. are you going to continue doing that? Right. Day? That's that's the question. So it's not one that you you feel as though you would rather do more. No. Uh, so no, I, I, I think I think um, evenly spread as far as no no freaky. Wow, that sounded crazy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, you know what I mean. I think I'm well grounded in the areas of what I'm doing and everything like that. You feel me? I think I have I can give enough time in mm-hmm. those perspectives. And even if I have to not be like say on a podcast one day, yeah, my team is is. Well, good enough to be able to go on without me being there. You know what I mean? Right. So, being as though you are an artist, all around artists, music, media, all that shit. So, I'm pretty sure that you're well versed in like uh, other podcasts and other mm-hmm. media. Who are like? Would you say it was like your top three media personalities? My top three media personalities. Yeah. Uh, damn. To be honest, and I'm gonna be all the way honest, I don't have no. None. No, no, it's not even that. It's not <laughs> even that. It's not even that. It's just um, it's 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 a it's a lot, you know. Yeah, and, it's, and, a and lot. it's still it's still in a the, the podcast era right now is still in a in a great development era, era right now. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's becoming more and more mainstream. You exactly. know what I'm saying? It's becoming it, 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 and it's, it's getting a lot more light. So it's like I'm still just looking. And, 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 and choosing like you know what I mean which is the dopest still you feel right. me? And, and so far it's like you know what I mean it's a lot it's a lot of them that, that, that is up there in that line right now I can't sit there and pick me that, that, that's unfair I seen you at the uh, shout out to Beast on the Beat shout out Craig nice. Lynch you know what I'm saying I seen you do a uh, a little press conference, media run type shit at the, uh, the Beast, on Beat, right. Beast on the Beat press conference and shit you funny and shit have you ever thought about going into uh Going into like stand up. Have you ever tried stand up comedy? No, no. Uh, a couple of people were sitting there was like, "Yo, you should go into stand up." And to be honest, it's like I'll be sitting there trying to like really explain people like it really be uh, 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 a borderline personality disorder. Kind of <laughs> like, you know what I, mean? I, I mean, totally understand. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, really like it be like the nervousness coming out. Like all right, okay. boy, I'd rather you know what I'm saying crack. You know what I'm saying make sure that everybody's smiling. So oh, you know okay. It's like. I would love to go into comedy like that. I would love to try it. You know what I mean? Just once. You know what right. I mean? I don't care if I get booed or not. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right. It's at least a try. If I can get one giggle, <laughs> I'm successful. You know what I mean? I, I did my job. You know what I'm saying? That's what a comedian is supposed to do. Make someone laugh, right? Yeah, I mean, man. One person shit, laugh. You know shit, I mean? the world's better when it's laughing anyway. Yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah shit. It depends on what you're laughing at, though. Oh, right, right. Here, right? Uh, yeah, 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 definitely. There's a lot of I've seen, 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 seen an old dude kick a cat and laugh. <laughs> Feel good out. I mean, abusing animal Ooh. animal abuse is the first step to being a serial killer. Hey, look. <laughs> the more you know, folks. Hey. <laughs> but now, <laughs> now, uh, check his <laughs> right, right, check your man's basement, bro. He getting his rocks off. <laughs> but, but uh, you seem to be kind of you seem to kind of be around the same age and shit, so. I, I kind of I understand your comedy. I get where like we it seems like everybody through the internet we kind of learned that we all kind of lived like almost the same fucking life. Like a nigga can post like a cup and everybody be like, "Yo, I had that cup in my grandma's house." Like the shit weird as fuck. <laughs> so <laughs> I know we probably pretty much watch the same mu- movies, listen to the same songs. Give me your top three hood movies. Your top three hood movies. My top three hoodies. Yeah, your favorite joints. <laughs> the top three. Hey, yo, Hitman, don't count. All right, my phone, my phone, I'm right up. Wow. <laughs> he only said that because I'm Asian, right? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I love all You got to stop the Asian right, hate. So stop the Asian hate, brother. Movies, um, <laughs> Shot us is my life. Facts. Shot us. Take the what and leave Do the what? what? Belly. It's not like a- you, know, you, can't, you can't eat belly out. Belly, the, the intro alone. Shout out to Bella. 
Shout the intro bro. alone, that that club scene, bro. Like when they, yeah. well, I knew it was oh, about to be a great movie. Oh, you <laughs> right. you couldn't mess up the movie What's after that. On? That intro, oh, I yeah. was like, yeah, this movie about to be fire. I sat back and I really like started relaxing. Like, yeah, it's, it. it's about to be the one. My um, nigga DMX is wild on that joke. Smoking three, weed. I would say training day. Training day? Yeah, as far as her move, because that that be some shit that be happening. Oh bro. yeah, for sure. Me, I don't not I don't know about that exactly, but I've I've seen Grammy cops. Oh yeah, there, you know definitely. I mean? Shit, a lot of people yeah. become cops just to motherfucking be on the other side of the game. Man, listen, so I've shit. not seen Grammy. <laughs> the Grammy. Yeah. What about y'all, man? I ain't mean to leave y'all out. What about y'all, man? What's your top three hood movies, oh, man? man? Top three. Damn. Fresh. Ooh. Ooh, classic. Shit. Should've went triple. Yeah, where is my fresh? Um, paid in full. Mm. Paid in full is good. Another classic. Damn. Uh, you smooth my shit out. <laughs> I mean, like uh, hood movies, like are just like. All right, uh, don't be a menace to self to if it wasn't oh. Damn, that's a, it's so many of them. Yeah. It's really driving me to give a nigga three. Don't be a menace to that shit. Well, I'm thinking about shit that you niggas used to watch on VHS, like that VHS type way. Definitely, mm. definitely gotta have King of New York. King of New York, definitely. Principal Walt. But see, Lee, I like, I like a lot of people keep forgetting like. I'm with you with that that happiness shit. Like I like laughing, so yeah. I would say like House Party One. Mm. Ooh, that's the best House Party. Yeah, yeah, they didn't yeah, even yeah, need yeah. to make all the ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Balao, Balao. You had to grow up with your <laughs> you had to grow up with your pops to relate to that. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if Marvin Gaye gonna be there. Say Class Act Two. And then and mm. Class Act. You see, okay now. Cause Cause I was going, I was going, I was going to say, I was, 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 was going to say, Bay 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 just start getting schizophrenic and just start courting lines. Bay Bay's kids is my third, because, you know, <laughs> Robin Harris was oh my rest God. peace, but yeah, man, when he was talking about Bay Bay's kids, I didn't understand back in the day, yeah. Yeah. half kids. They was some badass kids, I yeah, wanted Bay to Bay's hit. Kids. Shout out, shout out to my grandma. Did Bay he Bay. hit? I love y'all, but he I'm hit. a Bay Bay kid. On Bay Bay's kids. Did this nigga ever hit? We had a family reunion. He ain't never hit. He ain't never hit. Nah, fuck that. That's the funny part. He paid for all that shit. So is is Robin Harris at that time a cent, ladies and gentlemen? Because he didn't get no yams. I mean, he wasn't. He paid out the wild. It was just a nigga that was going for his. Bro was going out his sock. Remember he was falling on his sock for some money, bro? Like, come on. He was going for his, yo. Yeah. Burn it up. Yeah, he yeah. was going for his, bro. Was like, you gotta think about the odds of him trying to get them type of yams. That was that was high class yams. Mm. That, was, that, was, that was high. But was they though, or did he meet at a funeral? He met her at a funeral. I'm saying. I ain't it's taking a, no kids to an amusement park that ain't even your. So they ain't even her kids. 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 They they base kids. That so, wasn't even a joke. So high quality yams, people don't be nine. People, people, high quality yams. Yeah, 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 I think yeah, he was going for his. Yeah, he was shooting. He seen how yeah, he was just shooting. He was shooting. That was some, that was that was fine. He had the forty like, on him at the funeral though. He he shot a shot at the funeral. Yeah. Bro, so I'm gonna take care of your kids and your <laughs> friend kids. <laughs> Let's see who these your neighbors' kids taking their ass out <laughs> too. Then we want to go to amusement park. Bro, we must have worked at the park. factory or something. Nah, yeah, that bag on him. Yeah, that bag on him. But that's how I learned. You know what I mean? That 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 you can't you cannot say that wasn't a hood movie because you know all of us as men we start realizing like damn. Either we got some homies that got mothers like that, or we know some women now that's like that. Like, Yo, you know. what about his ratchet ass girlfriend? Mm. With the Man. with the broke press Lee on, oh, yeah. <laughs> with the broke yes. back. Yeah. And Giddy's was crazy. There's always one. Man. <laughs> There's always one. She said that's why you so broke. You thought a mobile home was. What did he say? She thought an elevator was a mobile home. Mm. Yo, what type of ish was we on back in the day? We literally used to sit in front of each other's faces. Yo, the they just roast each other's moms. The, the, the cartoonists that that drew them. They did fire. Fire. Yeah, it was fire. It was fire. That shit was funny as hell. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Shout right out to the circle noses. <laughs> Shout out to the circle circle noses. Noses. Bring wow. back circle noses. Circle noses. Everybody had the wide nostril. Yeah, real <laughs> nigga. Breathing up all the air. Real nigga. It was fierce. Come on, motherfucker. Well, nah, we off on a tangent, man. I got my man Dre Artis in the building. Yes. Man. Yes. You ready? Know. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to ask you. 
your dream, this next segment we like to call it the dream situation, bro. If you had everything your way, Ooh. we're going to take it from top to bottom, bro. Ooh. If you had everything your way in your dream situation, what label would you be on, if any? Talk to me, bro. If you had somebody that fit with what you got going on. I was to be with any label, to be honest. To fit what, I'm, what, I would, what I would try to do. The only label I would probably deal with, honestly, is Masterpiece. Mmm, no limit. No limit. That nigga's probably still got something going Yo, on. He got Snoop cereal. Look, yeah, look what he did for Snoop. <laughs> that was yeah. nigga. He taught Snoop the Shout super the game. Ball. Now look what Snoop doing. Right, right. Since you can't hate on Master Everything. P, bro, the nigga got oodles and noodles. Niggas been eating oodles and noodles for 100 years. Why no black person thought to make their own oodles and noodles? Oodles. Until now. Right. That was like a, that's like a fucking, that's like the shit. kick you get when you get dropped off in the projects. I can make some <laughs> Get these Master P oodles and noodles. I'm going to have black see. and these noodles. Watch. Shit, that's your probably hit. Crazy man. soy sauce with hot sauce. It's crazy. Uh, you know what I'm hey, 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 it might steal my shit. I'm gonna feel it. You niggas <laughs> will and niggas will steal your shit. Well, somebody hit it like what? What? Let me write it out. That's what it is. Alright, so you said you was gonna fuck with Master P. Alright, so you gotta go on tour. You gotta take two artists with you, any artist in the world. It could be any genre or anything, but something that you think that's gonna take your tour to the next level. This is your first debut tour, major label. You running with Master P. What I bring? Yeah, what two artists you bringing to, to think that's gonna be a good show for like your style of music? That niggas is gonna come out and see. Um, honestly, I would do shit my style. Or just in general, what you think would be a good mix? Like, if you was gonna do a tour, who you touring with? Who you think y'all share? You share a fan base with? We'll come back to that one after these messages. Yo, to be honest, to be honest, yo, I don't know because I would like to say certain artists, but it just I don't know if it'll mesh well. Um. It, it'll be hard to, 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 to do a tour collaboration like that because, you know, I I have a very different demographic. Mm, okay. and, and that's, that's you know, it's like, if I was to sit there and name artists, they'd be like, huh? If I was to sit there and be like, oh, I would do something with King Magnetic. Mm, okay. I would, I would, I would have um, OT The Real. OT The um, Real. Mm, I, would, I, would, I would, all the way down to like, if I was to sit there and say, say some mainstream, I'd say most deaf. Mm. It's a lot, you know what I'm saying? That to me, that's one of my favorite artists. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or if, if I want to go local, you know what I'm saying? I would even say if I wanted to make sure that it'll 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 it'll, it'll grab the young crowd and 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 it'll be a fire reaction. I'll sit there and probably even um, Mark Fontaine. Ooh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, monster too. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, All right, so we just want to take from that. Then <clears throat> I guess we'll say most deaf Mir Fontaine. For a tour, cause we yeah, get, we right. said we lining it up. We got, yeah, yeah, yeah. we got, yeah, let's go. That'll be dope. Yeah, we got Master P. We got Most Def and Mary Fontaine on the first tour. Your first album, you only have one producer, but you got an unlimited budget. Damn. Who are you getting to produce that song? That produce your first album. <laughs> this shit fun. Black bass from Camden. Yeah, this shit fun. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a monster. I heard Clint fun. Beast with over at that uh, Beast on the Beat. Uh, the ball's not to be fucked. If with, I had man. an unlimited ba- budget, I would, I would, I would do. Clint Beastwood, you know what I'm saying? That's what's because up. Because of the simple fact that I, I I know what their production afterwards could come after that. Mm-hmm. If I can start the funding off like that, and the man got heat. Right? It's, not, to it's, Clint not even, it's not even it's not even just that. It's just the vision behind them. Right. You know what I'm saying? That 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 there yeah, that just the, the duck and folk situation behind you know what I'm saying the absolute the moral situation will, 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 everything will flourish after that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're doing, yeah, it, you're doing it, it the right way. going to do it the right yeah, way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's enough. It's enough where it, 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 everything trickles down after that. Facts, you know what facts. I mean? So why not? Well, let's get into the good part then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to get celebrity, singer, IG model, whatever you want. You got to have a scandal for your first rollout. Damn. TMZ got to know you, bro. You got to be creeping out the motherfucking... Damn. You got to be creeping out the shark bar at one in the morning with, with somebody. Damn. Who who you taking? Who who, who you picking up? Yeah, yeah, you gotta get that that clout, that rollout. You said it. You said it. Who am I rolling out 
who you actually want to club with. You, you, you got you, for your for your who for your artist rollout. If you know this, everybody got to get like some kind of scandal, like sure. a woman or something like that. If you had to pick somebody, anybody, IG singer, actor, anybody, somebody, they'd be like, we seen Trey artists yeah, coming yeah. out of our fucking <laughs> forty forty club one in the we morning with. Me. See what's up. Y'all trying to fuck up my life insurance. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta know. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't got no nothing. Uh, it'll never happen. You hear me? <laughs> All right, so no rollouts for Drader artists. No rollouts. It'll be nothing. I am in the house. It'll be nothing rolling out. Nothing. But it's nothing. You gotta do something for TMT, bro. Right. The TMT. All right. It ain't gotta be real. All right, women ain't gotta be real. All right. You want me to put up? They're gonna be my cousin. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't. I'm gonna be one of my cousins. You ain't, you ain't linking up no with the Kardashians. Like you ain't gonna link up with no Kardashians, nothing. Uh, definitely no Kardashians, nigga. Uh, I guess that, what you trying that is, to that is uh, gonna take you down uh, dark uh, path. I don't care what no one says. This, y'all got voodoo uh, vaginas. Hey, yo. They will nah, take niggas that, on OJ. Oh man, right there. Right there. Wow. 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 I do believe. Now that you say that, I do believe that to fuck with a Kardashian, you gotta sign like some kind of blood contract or something. Look at everyone that messed with a Kardashian. Oh, needs to drop your blood. Everyone that messed with a Kardashian. Look at everyone that messed with a Kardashian. They went bad. Fucking Travis Scott trying to do a fucking show with the pyramids. All them NBA players that went nowhere. It was some wild shit that happened. It's always some trying to drop Courtney weird ass. That's all that Travis Scott shit though. Like, huh? That nigga trying to do a show at the pyramids. They trying to not let him because they said his shit is rituals. rituals. Yeah, yeah, that shit is crazy though. That's crazy. I mean, but that's how deep that nigga is in this shit. They can't beat like, you this way. Like, Let's put religion on you. Yeah, yeah. Let's throw the religion on you because we can have so many people just jump off of that. Yeah, shit. yeah. But, they, but they, even then, but, they get lost in the fight. I mean, that nigga Travis Scott might be into some kind of weird shit though, because <laughs> that nigga did have like uh, like sixty people die at a show or some crazy <laughs> shit. Like, come on, bro. Something going on? It's something going on, bro. Because 60 people. I mean, damn, it was mad people. Nah, it, it, I mean, but like, you know. You I know. fuck with Travis Scott, but that nigga be leaving his body sometimes. I have went to a couple of this nigga shows. That nigga be, baby, baby. He's, he's a proper dude. Yeah, I got, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> like, he's talented. Yeah. It's lit. But he be, he, 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 he be deep in them streets or something. <laughs> <laughs> he in them streets. What about the two time shows? Damn. I ain't never witnessed one, but Damn. this shit go crazy. You gotta go in there with an L3 vest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In one of the shows. Somebody gonna get hurt. Hey, do I think <laughs> somebody coming in there with a ladder? Nah, I mean, that's different. He be on some hood shit. This nigga Travis Scott seems like he be talking oh, in yeah. tongues and shit. Oh, like, he be going into. You say if you say Travis Scott three times backwards, your, your friend is will love <laughs> Don't let your sons listen to like, Travis bro, why Scott. Why you trying to do some ritual shit at the pyramids, come out bro? Weird. Hey, <laughs> but no, nah, shout out to him, bro. I'll cool yeah, definitely, yeah, 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 definitely do the interview. But nah, man. All right, so as a recap, Dream John going on. We got Label. You fuck with Master P. We got two artists he touring with, Mary Fontaine. And who was it? Mary Fontaine, the most deaf. Right? And uh, one producer. You got Clint Beastwood, who was really a fucking beast. And he ain't doing no goddamn scandal to pop off his first album. So I guess that's it. <laughs> that's it for your uh, dream right. situation. Right. But man, we got great artists in the building, bro. What can the people expect next from yes. you, yo? Um, more singles, more records, more, more records, more records, more Look. records. Look, see, I don't think y'all understand. This is what I'm gonna be doing every month. At least three to four records every month. I'm gonna be dropping until y'all pay attention. Until I got enough people that's gonna sit there and say, you know what, you need to drop an album, you need to drop an EP, and then that's when numbers. Mm. This one's gonna be perfect. I'm damn with the we fucking plan, yeah. man. But but are you the same animal and the same beast? The weed the is burning real good that? right now. You're welcome. <laughs> weed, weed, weed. More records. <laughs> More records. But uh Shout out nah, to man. It's fucking damn yeah, man, I'm fucking high shit. I ain't even smoking. I ain't even smoking. You just gotta believe in yourself. Yeah, I gotta, go. I gotta believe. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. You gotta achieve. <laughs> but nah, man, we got Dre artists in the building. Mm-hmm. Where can yes. the people find you, bro? We about to wrap this joint right, up. Look, y'all can find me on everywhere. You can literally Google me. D R E A R T I S T. One word. On everything. You know what I'm saying? Literally. I G. Um, I'm on Facebook. Uh, uh, just, I'm on IG mostly. 
you know, but platforms, you can find all my music on all platforms mm -hmm. and more music is dropping. The, the, I got some more music dropping the 27th. I have another yes. uh, Creole, no, not Creole, um, Bad Rap is dropping yes. August 1st. Mm. Tap in the bad rap. I like yes. I like bad rap. That's you gonna be back out here in these streets performing? You got some shows coming up? I got, I got a show August fifth. Um, I'm, I'm I'm probably gonna perform mm. Monday. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm most likely gonna perform Monday. My lord, right. check us out. Saying, um, make sure you check out um, my boy Ninety from PS. He's performing yeah, man. Also. Man, where yes. can the people find y'all too, man? What y'all got coming up? On everything, bro. Um, Sony dealing. I'm not even gonna steal your light. I still got my Sony deal. Mm -hmm. Um, shout right. out to Who Mag. Shout out to Oh, shit. Shout out to Who Mag. Yeah. You feel me, Sony? Definitely, definitely. Thank you for everything y'all doing and still continue doing for us. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, your music is consistently dropping, bro. Um, I have Tweaking dropping, produced by numbers from First Wonder. The First Wonder. You feel me? I actually, I have a whole, I have a whole uh, EP coming produced by uh, numbers, the, the First Wonder. You feel me? Shout out to the 48 Laws Barana. Mm. But, Jackie like, Robinson. I, Jackie Robinson is out right now, like on all, all music platforms. With, with There's him so rapping. much music He's right now, producing him. and, and rapping. Like the team, the whole team. Shout out to my bro uh, King Slim. Mm. Like shout out to my bro Q. So uh, Q. Every the whole team. P.S. Mm. Okay. Shout out to P.S. Shout out to P.S. Man. We eat. Ron school. Eat, school, man. Eat and eat. And eat some more. Need after that. I know we look skinny. Then we still <laughs> more records. I got high metabolism. More I'm records. Too much. Right. Right. More records. But shit, man. This has been another one, much. man. It's been another one. It's your boy Moogie getting money. Moogie. It's more than likely. Let's go. We out this bitch, man. Thank y'all for coming through, bro. Thank y'all for coming through. Man. Yeah. Yo. I'm the man with the iron, leave them all ghosts. Throwing shots, eyes closed. That's a no scope. That's a no scope.